Hey guys, going on? Nivens here. Time for your weekly rock wind-up. Well, undoubtedly you have heard the news, and that is uh, Brian Johnson, doctor's orders, can no longer get on stage and perform the final 10 shows ACDC has slated in the States uh, or else uh, risk a uh, permanent hearing loss. Now, if you listen to Johnny at all in the mornings, he's talked about this. It had nothing to do with rock and roll. It had everything to do with him racing cars. That's what affected his hearing. As of this moment, ACDC is not really sure how they're going to complete the last of their run. Uh, there's been talk about guest vocalists. Some people think yay, some people think nay. Some people, uh, Dave Evans in particular, the original ACDC frontman from like, like one year back in the early 70s, he said he's ready to step up and get in the game. So it'll be interesting to see how ACDC handles this. But uh, we very well may have seen, I mean, at least the story is, we probably have seen the last of ACDC with Brian Johnson when they performed at the Sprint Center here in Kansas City. Well, another band confirming that they are uh, definitely out of it and done doing the touring is Rush. Uh, there was some talk for a while because Neil Peart was saying that uh, his daughter's introducing him, uh, him to friends as a retired drummer. But it looks like uh, Alex Lifeson confirming it in Rolling Stone that uh, even though him and Geddy Lee would still like to do some stuff, uh, Peart, Peart is no longer physically capable, capable of participating in such extended outings. So uh, again, uh, we got a chance to see Rush at Sprint Center. It looks like that's the uh, end of it for those guys too, at least on the tour in front of it. Well, here is a get well soon and how you can help out in that. If you recall, last year around November, I told you about Bad Brains guitarist Dr. No. He had suffered a cardiac arrest and had like a 5% chance to live. Well, through positive mental attitude and a lot of prayers and a lot of pulling through, he's doing all right. But he has a lot of medical bills. In fact, there's been a crowdsourced funded campaign to raise up $100,000 to help him uh, pay for these bills. So if you're a huge fan of Bad Brains, like I know you are, you're probably going to chip in. And again, it's one of those things where anything helps. A dollar, five dollars, ten dollars. You get enough people helping out. And uh, obviously it'll help out Dr. Mel. And another get well soon to Bill Wyman, formerly of the Rolling Stones. His spokesman saying, quote, he is undergoing treatment and is expected to make a full recovery as it was caught in the early stages talking about uh, cancer. He is the second member of the Stones to be diagnosed with cancer as a drummer Charlie Watts was uh, had leveled with that in 2005 and he survived it and outcame with both cancer. So uh, get well soon to Bill Wyman and I know you will, pal. Well, how is the city of Montreal going to celebrate their 375th anniversary as a city? Well, by, of course, having the Opria, uh, Opera de Montreal stage Pink Floyd's The Wall. Now, uh, Roger Waters will be part of this. The Wall, I guess, itself came about from a controversy back in 1977 when Roger Waters spit on a fan in Montreal, and that ended up somehow becoming the inspiration for The Wall that came out in 1979. So Waters is going to be part of it. At first, he was a little put off by it. He doesn't like the idea of collaborating with symphonies and rock and roll. But after he heard uh, some tracks of it, he got goose pimples, and he's going to be part of it. And close out your weekly rock wind up with all the new stuff that's slated to drop, like Metal Massacre uh, on uh, April the 8th, if you recall, in 1982, uh, Metal Blade Records, Metal Blade Records, excuse me, uh, released its very first Metal Massacre. It had Metallica and Rat on it. Number 14 will be out uh, with some bands that I'm not entirely sure of, but uh, if you're uh, familiar with Cobra or Stone Dagger or maybe Savage Master, take a look uh, for that. Uh, what else? Round Records Records is a new record label from uh, the Wild Hearts frontman, Ginger Wildheart. Pretty stoked about that and just checking uh, what he's got going on there for Hey Hello Mutation. Uh, some live albums and DVDs as well from the Wild Hearts. So if you're a fan of what he's got going on, check out that. Uh, Linkin Park making their 2000 uh, debut album, Hybrid Theory, available for free download via Google Play. Uh, that offer will end on March the 18th. That, of course, the day after St. Patty's Day, one week from today. Uh, if you uh, know it all about the very first album, it was one of the best-selling albums of of, this, of, uh, of that time frame, uh, dropped in October of 2000. So they're going to give it to their fans for free because they sold so many copies. Think about that. They sold so many copies now, they're just like, ah, just take it. Go ahead and have it. Uh, Melvins are going to be having uh, not one, not two, not three, but six different bassists appear on their new album, Bases Loaded. That'll be out uh, June 3rd, uh, notably a part of that will be uh, Nirvana's Chris Novoselic, as well as Butthole Surfer's J.D. Pincus. So if you're a fan of the Melvins, take a look at that. Uh, Hinder going to be releasing a six-song EP, Stripped, on May 13th. And this one is for my buddy Tom, as he called me out on it in the Barrageo that I didn't mention the Deftones last week. Uh, Gore will be out in stores April 8th, and they will be in town uh, May the 20th at the Uptown. That is the Deftones for you, Tom. There you go, buddy. You owe me a drink. I'm Nevins. Thank you very much for tuning in to your Weekly Rock Wind Up. Have a great weekend and 